Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. I upload weekly and I'm super excited and providing some easy sustainable fashion summer tips that you can adopt. Summer is finally here and today we're trying to really stay stylish and sustainable without breaking the bank. So let's dive right in. First things first, let's talk about something fairly obvious but super hard to do which is to buy what you need. So if you live in a place like the Midwest, like me, summer doesn't last long so it's smart to actually limit your summer wardrobe purchases i would highly recommend focusing on key pieces that you can mix and match for years to come and can hopefully store in your closet or underneath your bed and so a great thing to do is focus on shoes i have heard chunky sneakers are out and now we got these more slimmer sportier trainers in so if you have any of those pull them out of storage if you have any bolder like trainers like in the color yellow or blue those are great for the summer and those can actually be paired really well with more like formal dressy dresses dressy dresses is that a thing <laughs> but it can actually bring a more relaxed fit and more of this like cool vibe so consider that as an option but another way to create a sustainable wardrobe without spending tons of money is to borrow from friends make excuses to hang out share stuff and try to create memories together through fashion again try to look for things that are trendy if you want if not that's okay but what i know is that the color yellow butter is coming in um more sequins are in denim pants are in white shirts are in I don't know why, but it is. Um, and on the accessory front, there's something called raffias that are super big. I've seen kitten heels become something everyone else is wearing. Mary Jane flats are really cute for a summer. So if you're more on that trendy side, see if your friends have any of those things because why buy new if you're only going to wear them for the summer, you know? I've also seen ballet flats coming back, but again, sustainability is key. Sharing closets can be hard if you've never done it before. Your friend may be a little bit weirded out, but honestly, it's such a great way to break barriers, build more stronger relationships and connections, and help you share pieces that otherwise would sit unused in your closet. You can also tap into your family's closet. I know my siblings have checkered shirts, sporty caps, and jerseys I normally wouldn't wear. So don't be afraid to ask and see what pieces they're open to share with you. And then to push it even further, I would highly recommend visiting your parents' and grandparents' houses to treasure hunt for vintage finds. Everything is fair game, honestly, and it will really provide you unique pieces to your wardrobe and also help you connect and hear stories that you may never have heard before by talking and touching on their clothing pieces. I know that Y2K vibes are super pop right now, so hopefully your parents and or grandparents have some great fits, great pieces that they wore in the early 2000s. And lastly, let's take some time to shop internally in your soul. Now, you may be wondering, what are you talking about? Well, it may sound weird and it may sound cliche, but let's really take some time to discover who we are. We don't always have to follow trends we don't always have to be doing what everyone else is doing. We probably don't need ballet flats this summer, but I mean, it's up to you if you want to wear what everyone else is wearing. I would just highly recommend you have fun with your wardrobe, to dress up like you want to. It's summer, there's sun, it's just good vibes. Most of the time, for me at least, in, in the Midwest, it's just rain and all of our outfits are often covered by jackets and coats and stuff. So try to let your outfit shine. Don't be afraid to try new things so yeah let me know what you're going to try to do this summer to be more sustainable in your fashion choices you don't necessarily have to shop your way into sustainable fashion so all your thoughts any of your ideas is fair game so let me know and yeah that's all for today's video i hope these quick general tips help you practice sustainable fashion while also staying stylish this summer without spending too much money if you're not subscribed feel free to subscribe and make ethical fashion videos and i upload weekly so why not and yeah hit that post notification so you know when i'm uploading and if you want to support me on patreon feel free and yeah that's that's pretty much for for this video peace and love oh